Tangibilisco here. I'm going to explain for you uh, a mica capacitor, the way that it's constructed. I'm going to provide a cross-sectional diagram. It's very similar to a paper capacitor in terms of its theory of operation, except it uses mica instead. The, the physics of the construction, the physical construction, is, al is also somewhat different. You'll see that in a moment. This comes from my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 6th edition, published in June of 2016 by McGraw-Hill and written by yours truly, along with Simon Monk, who provided brand new chapters on microcontrollers and the Arduino device for those uh, of you more interested in advanced technologies. But this technology has been around for decades. It's a fixed capacitor using mica as the dielectric material. It has alternating layers of metal plates. Plate set A alternating with plate set B and separated by the dielectric, which in this case is mica, M-I-C-A, a mineral which has exceptionally low loss at radio frequencies. It's rather expensive, but it provides for excellent high voltage uh, performance and high frequency performance for use at radio frequencies. A mica capacitor. Sometimes you can make these plates compressible, put a plastic screw with a hole right through the center of it and make a variable what they call a trimmer capacitor out of this uh, type of arrangement. Uh, I'll see if I can make a video about trimmer capacitors in general a little later but for right now this is the basic concept behind a mica capacitor excellent for use at radio frequencies at moderate to high voltages for example in ham radio equipment such as you might find at amateur radio station w1 gv whiskey one good vibrations the station operated by yours truly occasionally I get on CW most of the time and PSK 31 some of the time for those of you who know what that means enough said for those of you who don't <laughs> again enough said Stangibalisco signing off by the way you will find this I always have one more thing to add, don't I? I never, I sign off and then I for, forget to remember that I forgot to remember something. You will find this as figure 11-6 on page 191 of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics 6th edition. I recommend you get the paper version. It's available at Amazon.com, new or used along with barnesandnoble.com and I think Google has it. And if you're lucky enough to have a bricks and mortar bookstore near you, you can order it through them and have a good piece, good brick. You can whoop somebody over the head with them when they can't understand a simple explanation like how a mica capacitor is put together. Oh well. It's a Sunday. It's a beautiful day here in the black holes of Dakota Territory, and I'm in a weird mood, as if that's unusual. Stan Jubilisco is signing off. Until next time, so long.